so gratifying to come somewhere and see exactly what, what businesses are doing and how they're exporting and how they're taking advantage of the sort of macro level policy issues that we work on in Washington. You know, we, I spend so much time in my little bubble um, in DC and that it's, it's oftentimes hard to actually appreciate what happens once we negotiate a trade agreement or once we win a, a case before the World Trade Organization um, and what does that mean for companies on the ground and coming here today and seeing the unbelievable export success um, here is, it's, you know, this is why we're here, this is why I wake up every day and do my job. It's so, so companies like AGI can have the opportunity to be as successful as it can in the international arena. So I'm thrilled to be here today. I, I'm, I'm very thankful to Paul and Matt um, for hosting us here today. I'm also enormously grateful to all of the hard work that the, that the folks at UZAP do, um, you know, Joe and, and Tony and Sam, um, who have worked so hard with AGI and other companies in, in the region to tap into overseas markets. Um, one other, you know, group of people to thank is our uh, representatives from Congress. Congress pushes us really hard to make sure that our trade policy is the kind of trade policy that, that creates and promotes jobs um, in the United States. When I was in the Senate before, I worked very closely um, with uh, Senator Casey's office and Senator Spector's office. We have Kirk from Senator Casey's office here today. Um, as well as your, your local representatives, um, Representatives Sasek, Gerlach, and Pitts. And through their efforts combined with what we do, we really try to help uh, create an environment so that, that businesses can export more um, with, the, with the goal of creating and supporting more jobs you know, here in, in, in the Philadelphia area, but in, in, in America more broadly. Um, so I have lots to be thankful for being here today. Um, you all here know more than I do about the useful role um, that the UZI Act of the Export Assistance Center can play in President Obama's National Export Initiative and helping to connect US businesses with countries around the world We've got a lot of export stars in this room who have, like AGI, have benefited from, from UZIAC's hard work, including Penn Stainless Products of Quakertown, it's now selling in Canada and Mexico, um, Allied Wire and Cable of Collegeville, who's selling in Ireland, and ADT, American company of Wincott, which is a hotel and hospital lin linen company that's recently partnered with a German firm. Um, what we wanna do in the Obama administration is to help more companies like this succeed on the global stage. And as the president just said, it's always very difficult coming after President Obama after he speaks, because I'm always sort of the anti-climax, but that being said, um, as he said in the video, um, at, at a speech that he gave before the Export-Import Bank last week, in the State of the Union, the president launched what's called the National Export Initiative, or NEI, um, and as the president said, the purpose of the NEI is to use every available federal resource to double U.S. exports in the next five years. And doubling U.S. exports in the next five years is estimated to support an additional two million um, jobs here in the United States. There have been previous attempts by um, former governments to elevate the importance of exports, but what sets the NEI apart from other uh, past initiatives is it's really a government-wide export promotion strategy with a focused attention from the president himself, as he just said, and his cabinet. And the whole point of the National Export Initiative is jobs. It's to get people back to work. It's to get people back in the kinds of jobs that provide security and dignity and a sense of hope for the future. Um, and you know, the, the, one of the key things that the president keeps telling us and keeps telling um, members of his cabinet over and over again is trade policy is part of jobs policy. And what we need to do is use our trade policy, um, our export policy, to reach the 95% of the world's consumers who live outside of the United States. There are a lot of people out there to sell to, and most people around the world value the goods and the services and the agricultural products that are produced in the United States above and beyond um, others. And it's our job in the federal government to use every resource we can to help you connect to those, those consumers. So the National Export Initiative is, is part of the President's plan to return 
the United States to the type of sustainable growth that helped us build the strongest middle class in history. And the idea of the National Export Initiative is, is you know, as the president listed, is, is you know, several fold. One is to educate US companies of all of the opportunities that there are overseas. And that's where the Commerce Department comes into play um, and use the app to help partner you with market opportunities that exist overseas. A second key element um, of the National Export Initiative is increasing the financing available to American exporters through the Export Import Bank. You know, Linda was the vice chair of the Export Import Bank um, previously. I'm not going to pretend to know everything that, that the Export Import Bank does, but if, if you have questions, um, Linda will be able to answer them because there's a lot of great stuff that, that, that the Exim Bank does in terms of um, providing trade financing, but particularly for small and medium-sized exports.